So here's the lick of the day. We're sliding our pick down to the high E string, and I'm barring the G, B, and high E string on the eighth fret. So here we go. We have a little rake right there. It's mostly my pick, but the high E string is being popped with the middle finger. Just to add a little bit of emphasis. Next, I'm going to the 11th fret of the B string, then down to the 8th fret. So far, we have this. Now, I'm going to slide up and back, going from 10th to the 11th fret, and backward. All right, add into it. So that was kind of deflecting back and forth between the 11th and the, I'm sorry, the 10th fret and the 8th fret. Now I'm going to the B string, 8th fret, and I'm hammering now on the G string. This is the minor third right here, and that's the, uh, the 8th fret. And I'm gonna hammer up to the major third, which is found on the 9th fret of the G string. So far we have this. Finally, we resolve on the root, 10th fret, D string. All right, so just a quick note on what's happening with the right hand. We're gonna slide down again. We're barring, going pick, pick, finger. The middle finger pop into E string. Pick, pick. Finger right there on the B string. All right, so just a couple of notes are being popped with the middle finger just to add a little bit of emphasis.